Meteor Shock News video images showing a very eerie green fireball shooting through Australian skies. Astronomers believe the object was an asteroid about 570 meters in diameter, which is about uh, 1,600, 800 feet, passing our planet at a safe distance. Some users suggest it was part of a rocket launched recently. The emerald green fireball was seen streaking across the night sky over Australia over the weekend. Users posted footage of the spectacular sighting on social media. One person commented, Martians have hit the Pilbara. This is what one sky watcher wrote in uh, concerning a remote region of Western Australia. He says, next phase of 2020 coming. Glenn Nagel, manager at NASA's Canberra Deep Space Communication Complex said, there have been reports of sightings as far away as the Northern Territory and South Australia. He said it was really a spectacular observation. People have captured something very special here, he said. There's been some speculation among social media users that the object could have been the debris from a rocket, but astronomers said it was likely an asteroid, given that space debris tend to emit crackles and sparks and also burn up quickly, which was not the case with this fireball in question. According to Nine News, astronomers believe that the object was an asteroid called 2002 NN4, which was earlier predicted to pass Earth this Saturday. It's an estimated diameter of 1,870 feet or 570 meters across. It was expected to come within roughly 5.2 kilometers of Earth, 13 times far farther away than the moon. Well, if it was supposed to be 13 times farther away than the moon, what is it doing hitting Earth's atmosphere? That's my question. Please leave your comment. If it is supposed to be asteroid 2002 and then 4, supposedly passing by Saturday, 570 meters across, almost 2,000 feet in diameter, and 5.2 million kilometers from Earth, that is 13 times farther than the moon is from Earth, why is it entering the Earth's atmosphere? That would be bad news. That means that the Yarkovsky effect could have taken place. That's when the uh, solar rays hit the uh, object, the celestial rock, causing it to heat up on uh, parts of its surface and uh, where it's cooler on the others and makes it somehow, the heat uh, difference makes it tumble on its axis, meaning that it goes off its trajectory. That's, that's happened before, even last year. We had an asteroid hitting us, but it uh, hit south of the Aleutian Islands in the uh, North Pacific Ocean, so it didn't hit any, uh, of course, any land, thank goodness. But that has happened before, and that's how the astronomers explained the Arkoski effect to us. Anyway, please let me know what you think. If this was actually 2002 and then 4, which was supposed to pass 13 times farther away from our moon, then what is it doing entering and hitting Earth? Uh, Earth's atmosphere. This is our Sputnik News. Thank you for your comments. Please subscribe and share. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.